type form and Google Ads conversion tracking or any kind of conversion tracking. So the first really important part I want to emphasize anyone looking information, looking for information about this is that most solutions out there don't really work. So for, for example, I found this tutorial and when I looked into it, it doesn't really work. And now I'm going to explain why that is. Also, for example, this add custom tracking snippets to type form. This doesn't really work either. In fact, I didn't find any solution that really works. And although they might sound convincing, I'm going to explain what, what is the problem with the other conversion trackings. Let's go. So you go to your Google Ads account, you create your conversions here and you set them up maybe using like this tutorial or maybe this one or something and you hope that the conversion tracking is set up. So what is actually happening? So uh, you make the ads here for example this is ad for my own website conantonic.com and it's for my dark mode plugin for Squarespace. So I have clicked on this ad and landed on my website. So here on my website when I open the developer tools application and go to look for cookies now we if we look for google ads or the old adwords uh, we can find this cookie here and this cookie is storing information about the click that happened earlier so when i clicked on this ad this cookie is now tracking kind of keeping track that hey I landed on this website through this ad so maybe I will fill the ad, uh, type form and submit it so that conversion could be then sent to Google Ads so if we Google this cookie find a little bit of information about it we find it's the conversion linker tag which sets ad click information in this cookie. Perfect. So we can track this ad click and what happens after that ad click, which is the point of conversion tracking. But now when we go to cookies, we also see that there's a type form in here. So as we can see, the type form is a separate thing from our website, which makes sense because if we take a look with our developer tools, we can actually see that it's an iframe leading to typeform.com, which is different than our website, in this case, codeontonic.com. So our website has the Google AdWords cookie, but when we click on the type form, we are in big, big trouble because the type form doesn't have the ad cookie Google Ads cookie information. And because with these tutorials or the built-in integration, uh, the conversion information is being sent from Typeform's website, Typeform domain, without the cookie. That means that it's absolutely pointless. So Google Ads can't tell the difference between this My Session here on this Chrome browser after this click on this ad and I don't know let's say my cousin in another apartment with another device doing the same thing it Google Ads simply cannot uh, make the link make the kind of understand that hey this ad click led to this conversion if the conversion is coming from here so what this means is that the conversion has to come from your website or my website where this cookie uh, is visible or is, is being tracked, which means that we need to use JavaScript, a JavaScript code which is listening for this um, type form iframe and is listening for a successful submit message which type form will actually send automatically we just need to create a, a listener function for it so when we hear a successful submit from the 
type form iframe again in our own website we can then send the conversion to google ads but it must be sent from our website not from uh, type form okay so i'm gonna go and you know go more into details on how to achieve this but the most important thing to understand is the conversion absolutely must be sent from your website not from type form like in these tutorials thanks for watching